Today we're recreating the latest trending style, the Jada Weta braids, made popular by the Miss Jada Cheese herself. We're also going to do this on 4C hair in 110 degree weather. So if you want to see how we pull this hot summer style off, make sure you stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel, our favorite model, Malaysia. She's been living her best life as a college student, so she's been on her own, keeping up with her own hair for a while. And as you can see, she had a run in with a style that took a major toll on her edges. So we're probably gonna be doing a whole lot of swooping today. She does have 4C tight coily hair, but I can tell she's been keeping up with her moisture routines because it's very soft to the touch. This is her hair in its blown out state, but for this style, we're going to need a little bit more elbow grease. So we're just gonna hot comb her roots so we can get her sections to lay as flat as possible. I purchased this particular hot comb on Amazon and as always all products will be listed in the description box below. I really like this one because you can control the temperature on it. You don't have to worry about burning or singeing anything. On a medium setting I'm just going to go through and press out small sections of her hair until I get the desired look. And the heat protectant that we're using is this one by Silk Elements. Now when we both saw this style, we were pretty hesitant because it's been pretty humid lately and she does have high porosity hair. So with all of her hair out that much, it, we're going to need a lot of product. On top of that, we just received a heat advisory in Texas. It was a whopping 110 and wouldn't you know it? The AC went out right in the middle of us recording. So you'll see later on in the video, we had to leave and come back to finish up everything because it was just way too hot. So here I'm just roughly mapping out the design I want. She likes hearts, so I'm going to part one out in the middle. With this texture hair, I really wanted to do some small feeder designs. Feeders can sometimes add structure and longevity to some styles, especially when the client has short or soft hair. However, my plan quickly changed when I realized it was starting to heat up in there. So I ended up just parting her sections out, I put them up, and then we came back the next day. So here we are the next day. The AC repair company couldn't come out that soon, but we were able to tough it out with some fans. Now I'm going to clean up her sections with my precision comb and product. And no, we aren't using the Old Faithful Shining Jam. I'm going with this stronger hold product called Neat Braid. I actually got put onto this one by one of my braid sisters on IG a while ago. I used it here and there periodically for certain styles, but recently a seller came by the shop and sold me this huge tub. So I've been really trying to put it to the test on a lot of different hair types and a lot of different styles. It's definitely thicker than the usual, but what I really like is that there's no buildup or residue, which is really hard to find in a lot of products. Essentially, I'm going to apply a generous amount of product throughout the section, then smooth the section with my comb and brush to create a ponytail. To secure the ponies, I'm using two large rubber bands, which I actually have never seen sold anywhere. We actually collect these from the braiding hair packs, and they come in super handy for all kinds of different things, including this style. For the braids themselves, we're going to do knotless, and I figured since we're doing only five braids, we might as well go long or go home. I believe we ended up doing like thigh length or knee length. I chose to do an ombre look with black at the top and platinum at the bottom. The braiding hair I'm using is one pack of 52 inch expressions hair in the color number two, and one bundle of expressions 52 inch color number 613. To start the braid, I'm going to apply more product and smooth it with my brush from root to tip. And then I'm just gonna start feeding in hair. If you keep watching, I have some clips of all the feed and hand work coming up.
The heart was pretty large and because of the design, the hair was laying kind of funny. So I secured it in three different sections um, and then gathered the sections together so that the pony wouldn't be positioned out of whack. Um, I wanted it to lay a little bit lower on her head. Now I know all of you are dying to ask me about my wristband, so here's the info. This band is called the Swoop Band. It's created by a stylist by the name of Wendy Swoops. The band has been my go-to, and, and let me tell you why. Y'all know I struggle with eczema, so the craziest things break out my skin. For the longest, I was wearing an ace bandage because that was the most comfortable for me to wear, but having to change it out all the time and having to buy new ones was becoming a bit of a task so um, I came across this product when I was doing a class uh, with another stylist and she highly recommended it I thought it was super cool this particular band is completely silicone so it's comfortable and doesn't slip it has a reservoir to hold the product any product you want and it also comes with a lid on it Cleaning it is super easy. I usually just drop it into some hot water and soap. Now initially I ordered mine on Amazon, but for some reason it never came in the mail, like the package got lost. So I reached out to her directly and she was kind enough to send me a replacement along with some extras that my team could use. And as of today, it really is the only thing we all use. So I would definitely say this is a great buy. It's so useful, especially for us professional braiders because you don't have to keep going back into the product. It's right there on your, on your wrist. But I would suggest ordering directly from her site instead of Amazon. So y'all know I love to support others in the industry, especially those who are making our jobs easier. So definitely check her page out. It will be linked in the description box below. So the next couple of clips are going to be the feed-in work that I discussed earlier. I wanted you guys to get like real time, like what it looks like to feed in hair because it's a question that I get all the time. And if you pay very close attention, I'm going to show you how to insert if you're an overhand uh, braider and also if you're an underhand braider because it can be different for either or. So yeah, I hope you guys find that part helpful. So as I mentioned before, we're not going to leave a lot of her edges out because it is crazy hot outside and it is super humid. Um, the minute she stepped out earlier today, like hair was already frizzing up. So we're just going to swoop a little bit into the sides there and then we're going to set everything with gots to be and tie her edges down so that everything gets nice and set and stiff. We do not want a hair out of place. 
And while she's being set, I'm gonna go ahead and dip her ends and trim everything up to make sure that everything is nice and even. And there you have it, the infamous Jada Weta braids on 4C hair. As always, if you found this video helpful, give it a big thumbs up and tell a friend. Subscribe for more content just like this. And thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.